Joining us now, New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, House Republican Conference Chair from Ponta Verde, Florida. That's the Republican House Conference. Uh, hello, Elise. Thanks for coming on. So the cavalry is coming. OK, the cavalry is coming. If it's not, we're all in a lot of trouble. But I just want to get your take quickly. If and when the cavalry comes, Republicans take the House, hopefully the Senate, will there be a full scale investigation of this Hunter Biden laptop and Joe Biden's role? You know, let's follow the money, bank accounts and all the rest of it. Will you all go after this story? You better believe we will, Larry. And that's what's been lacking under Speaker Pelosi's authoritarian leadership and far left Democrat control of Washington. There has been virtually no accountability or transparency on what we now know are numerous corruption scandals. But it's just the media finally admitting it. The American people knew about this prior to the last election. And big tech colluded with the mainstream media to censor this story. We've always known the laptop is real. Uh, finally, the New York Times uh, is reporting that fact, but we're going to hold this administration accountable, hold the president and his family accountable. There are a number of questions that need to be answered from Hunter Biden and, frankly, other members of the Biden family. For example, Hunter Biden's uh, investments in the Chinese Communist Party. Mm potential pay to play and corruption and criminal issues when you have Russian oligarchs funneling millions of dollars to Biden family businesses. Joe Biden's meeting when he was sitting vice president with shady characters and the big guy. We know the big guy is Joe Biden. We need to have Hunter Biden under oath. If he won't testify, he needs to be subpoenaed uh, to answer those questions for the American people because the stakes could not be higher and the cavalry is coming. House Republicans are unified to save America and demand and accountability. Yeah, and you know, Elise, um, part of this, I'd love to know whether they've divested or not. I mean, to be honest with you, I'd love to know whether Papa Biden is still getting any money from these investments, particularly the Chinese investment fund, where um, some people say Hunter is still a partner in that fund. You nailed it, Larry. The American people deserve to know when we're talking about the president of the United States, especially when we consider how great of a threat generationally a rising communist China is. Uh, the fact that Jen Psaki refuses to answer these questions and silences any reporter who dares to ask them. These questions aren't going away. Uh, House Democrats will continue to brush these under the rug. Uh, the American people deserve that transparency and accountability, and House Republicans will deliver that. Every committee in Congress, we're going to put an oversight committee uh, on each committee so there's full-time members and staff dedicated towards this. 